overflows. Tao overflows. Man lost the direction. Each seeks fulfillment in life, but in the wrong direction. When the direction is wrong, you cannot reach the final destination. I will speak on one of the fundamental fulfillments that everyone seeks at the physical level. This fulfillment happens through sex. It may be orgasmic or not. That is a different issue. At this level, one seeks one's own fulfillment, specifically man, rather seeking fulfillment even for his partner. As a result, it is temporary. Since this fulfillment is not overwhelming, it cannot open the door of the next layer, the emotional fulfillment. The fulfillment at the physical level has to be so intense that it can push open the door of the next layer. Opening the door of emotional layer alone is not enough. The waves of physical fulfillment must flow through the emotional layer. However, this does not happen. As a result, we go on changing partners, relationships fail, and we carry the corpse of relationships on our shoulders and within. And we remain lifelong searching for such a company or partner who can be an instrument for this. When through the physical act, energy flows constantly, like after effects of orgasmic trauma, then one begins to feel emotional fulfillment. At this level, it becomes like atomic fusion or atomic fusion or explosion. The two partners experience sex as an orgasmic overflow of energy and at the same time they realize such effects emotionally. Then partnership deepens and journey towards the deepest layer of the being begins. As a result, another, the last door is pushed open. Once this door is open, along with this opening, existence opens its unfathomable treasures for the two. No wastage of energy, instant energy is conserved, flows into one another, nourishes and nurtures one another as well. The relationship is no more physical alone and as this becomes a realization, the couple transcends beyond all that is dualistic at the physical, mental, psychological and existential levels. Such realization is light beyond sex. Through transcendence, there is a merger or dissolution. However, as I see man is engulfed in deep darkness, he has become like a house whose lamp has been snuffed, snuffed out on a dark night. Something in him has been extinguished, but the lamp that has been extinguished can be relit again. I see as well that man has lost all directions. He has become like a boat that has lost its way on the high seas. He has forgotten where he wants to go and what he wants to be. But the memory of what has been forgotten can be reawakened in him. <clears throat> Although there is darkness, there is no cause for despair. The deeper the darkness, closer the dawn. In the offing, I see a spiritual regeneration for the entire humanity. A new man is about to be born and we are in the throes of his birth pangs. But this regeneration 
needs the cooperation of each one of us. It is to happen through us and through us alone. We cannot afford to be mere spectators. We must all prepare for this rebirth within ourselves. The approach of that new day, of that dawning, will only happen if we fill ourselves with light once again. It is up to us to turn that possibility into a reality. We are the bricks of the edifice of tomorrow and we are the rays of light out of which the future sun will be born. We are the creators, not just spectators. We need, however, the need, however, is not only for the creation of the future. It is for the creation of the present itself. Out of the present evolves the tomorrow. It is for the creation of ourselves. It is for creating himself that man creates humanity. The individual is the component of society and both evolution and revolution can take place through him. You are the component. This is why I want to call you. I want to awaken you from your deep slumber. Don't you see that your lives have become quite meaningless and useless, totally boring. Life has lost its meaning and all purpose. But this is natural. Without light in man's heart, there can be no meaning in his life. And there can be no joy in his life when there is no light in his inner being. I am calling to awaken you from your dream of downfall to the majesty of an emperor. I wish to transform your defeat into victory, your darkness into light, your death into immortality. As you are ready to embark, are you ready to embark upon this voyage with me? Introspect. Are you ready to embark upon this voyage with me? Before we begin our work, please accept my love. It is the only thing with which I can welcome you to the loneliness and seclusion of these hills. I have nothing else to give, it, give to you. I want to share with you the infinite love the presence of God has created in me. I wish to distribute it, share it, and the wonder of it is that the more I share it, the more it grows. The real wealth increases with distribution, but wealth that decreases with the distribution or sharing is not real wealth, but that is all we know as wealth. Will you then accept my love? Will you? I see acceptance in your eyes and that they are overflowing with love in response. Love begets love. And hate begets hate. Whatever we give you, it returned in kind. This is an eternal law. So whatever you desire is what you should give on to the world. You cannot receive flowers in exchange for thorns. When you give flowers, you receive flowers to infinite quantum. I see flowers of love and peace blooming in your eyes. And I am deeply gratified. Now, there are not so many different people here. 
love unites and transforms the many into one. Love unites and transforms many into one. Physical bodies are separate and will continue to be so. However, there is something behind these bodies that bring people together and unites them in love. It is only when this unity is attained that anything can be said and that anything can be understood. Communication is only possible in love and in love alone. Through each overflow, I want to tell you something in an effort that you can listen to me. This telling and this listening are only possible at the level of love. I serve my overflow on the platter of love and you accept it with the gesture of love as well. Remember the doors of the heart open only to love and remember it is only when you hear with the heart and not with the head that you can really hear anything even the small voices you may ask does the heart hear heart alone hears so far the head has never heard anything the head is a stone deaf and this is also true of speaking. Only when words come out of the heart, they become meaningful. Only words that come deep from deep within the heart, the fragrance like the fragrance of fresh flowers. Otherwise, they are not only stale and faded, but are like artificial flowers made of paper. I shall pour out my heart to you and if your heart allows me to enter there will be a meaning and communication. No, not communication anymore. Instead communion. It is at this moment of communion that things that the thing Words are powerless to express all that can be communicated. Many unsaid things can also be heard like this and that which cannot be put into the words. That which is between the lines can also be communicated. Words are very important symbols. But if listened to in total peace of mind, and silence that they become mystical and create magical effects. This is what I call hearing with the heart. But even when we are listening to someone, we are full of thoughts about ourselves and that is a false listening. Then you are not true listeners. You are under the illusion that you are hearing, but as a matter of fact, you are not. For right hearing, it is necessary for the mind to be in a state of perfect, total silence and watchfulness. You should simply listen and do not do anything else. Only then can you hear and understand. And that understanding becomes a light and brings about a transformation in you. Without this state of mind, you do not listen to anyone and just go on listening to yourself. The tumult raging within, within you absorbs you. And when you are so engrossed, nothing can be communicated to you. You seem to be, you seem to be seeing but you do not see. You seem to be hearing, but you do not hear. Hearing is a totally different phenomenon.